Cut the third paragraph, Wally. It's redundant. Whatever you say, boss. But, uh, I sort of liked it. I imagine that she's going to be spending a good deal of time here. You'd like me not to be in the way. I'm trying to buy your undivided attention because I need a second opinion about my latest dilemma. I just got word from a very reliable source that Carter Malone used to know Sally Gleason back in Tulsa. Care to dance? Oh, HB, uh, not right now, thank you. You sure? award means to Mr. Reed and me. I would like to introduce to you a very close friend of mine, Miss Reva Shane, also known as Laura. How could you do this to me? Kyle? Kyle might have been for now, but I am going to fight for my son with every breath I have. What do you mean he's not there? Where is he? Is he hurt, Fletcher? Please. Kyle! Kyle! What did you do with my baby? Ben is Louie's cousin. He's not really your baby. No! I made that up! My baby is alive! He didn't die! My son is alive? Where did you take him? It was all a lie? You're not fit to walk the streets, let alone raise a child. That's why I took Ben from you. Enough! Thank you. <laughs> you are the most insufferable man I have ever seen. <laughs> no guts, no glory. There is a semicolon. I gotta find out what semicolons are in English language. You always talk to yourself when you're proofing copy? When can you start? I can start now. Good answer. Good answer. Take a look at this. I didn't know you did caricature. It wasn't supposed to be in there. I, mean, I don't know. Just, just like the cowboys. <laughs> well, move it on up and end the first paragraph with that. Wonder you're the publisher. You're so smart. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. It's the reporter's job to take notes. It's the publisher's job to print the notes. Oh. Yeah, but this is such a big event. Wouldn't you rather take the notes yourself? I would like to dedicate this special edition of the journal to 50 years of life in our wonderful city. Yes? And to our founding editor, Erna Phillips. All right. May her vision of Springfield be a guiding light to us all. Amen. Yay! Meredith is responsible for her own mother's death. Fletcher. Ben? What? We're gonna have a wonderful life together, you know that?
to the supermarket tabloids, the public is not going to read about it in my paper. Why the hell are you being so stubborn about it? Because this? I have standards. I have standards, too. And if you don't let me investigate the story, I'm walking. Fletcher, don't put your job on the line for this one. You're yeah. going to lose all the way around. You betrayed my trust. I had to. You have too much integrity for your own good. And you don't have any at all. Perhaps not. But I do have an uncanny knack for survival because I live by my instincts and my wits. And by God, they haven't let me down yet. <laughs> you survive all right. But it's at the expense of your friends, people who trust you, people who care about you, people who lean on you in time. Maybe I made a mistake. Do you still have the birth certificate? Yes, I do. I do. It's right here. Is that all we need for proof? Well, no, not in of, of itself. According to Ross, the fact that this was never filed brings its legality into question. We are also going to need Louis Darnell's sworn affidavit that he was present at the birth. That's okay. Louis will do that. And that is good. I knew he would. Fletcher, what is it? What are you keeping from me? The biggest problem of them all. We are also going to have to prove that our keeping the existence of Ben from Kyle was more responsible than telling Kyle the truth. I never meant for any of this to happen. What are we going to do? The only thing we can do, and that's the best attorney we can, and get ready for the biggest fight of our lives. Edition. I don't want to ask the staff to do something I wouldn't do myself. You're remarkable. You're right. Of course. Maeve, what Blackburn has belongs to me. If we find him, we'll save my heritage and we'll save Beth. I'm not sure what good it will do, but the journal will help in any way it can. Thank you. Thank you. Stems like these, you know who your friends really are. Behind all the jokes and all the tap dancing. Go on, go on. Don't stop me. There is a very beautiful man. Wife, you're going to turn my head. I'll make you a deal. You take your notes, I'll take my notes, and later on we'll see whose are the best. Is this some kind of bet or something? I wouldn't be that childish. You're on.
from Stoddard and Reed cannot be beat. Reed Stoddard. Stoddard Reed. I'll kiss to that. <laughs> <laughs> I had known that art auctions would turn you on like this. I would have bought you a coloring book a long time ago. Let your behave yourself. We're in public. Takeout pizza coming up. With everything on it. Except the anchovies. Oh, Fletcher, I live for anchovies. I hate anchovies. Pick yours off. I want a divorce. We're not married yet. Drat. But pretending sure is nice. <laughs> 